And finally, what we need to aim for to achieve climate justice, it is about what we do here in this country. It's not about if we do nothing, it doesn't just stay as bad as it is, it gets progressively worse. So we need that goal out there to aim for. That's why in our campaign we've been aiming for a million climate jobs and we've been aiming for zero carbon. Zero carbon Brits as a goal, a positive goal to aim for. So I want to end up on that. This has been about climate justice. It's been about the suffering of, of people from the impacts but, but to achieve that climate justice, we need a goal, we need to aim high, and to talk about that um, from the campaign is uh, Fiona Brooke. We're here today because not only we don't just have a climate problem, we have a climate crisis. So often when we talk about what we can do to combat climate change, we're really concerned with what's politically achievable, not what the science asks us to do and what we need to do. The Campaign Against Climate Change is asking for 10% cuts on emissions every year. People think that that might be extreme, but the problem is extreme. There's no way we can meet this with half measures. So this is why Zero Carbon Britain by 2030 is so important. Today has been focused about climate justice and the 7% and 50% banded about on banners really, really encapsulates what this is all about. So few of us are impacting on so many people's lives. We have to take accountability. We have to stand up and be responsible and saying, I care about this and I want to rectify this situation in whatever way I can. And that really means really taking a hard look at our lives in terms of consumption, in terms of travel, everything. We really need to do something. This is not just something that we can ignore. It's been harder and harder to campaign and lots of people have been doing this for so long. But in my mind that just means the fight's even more important. That we really need to do this. It really restokes my fire. And I want you guys to all join with me in saying to the building over there, to saying to all the people that are passing by, we need to do this and we need to do it now. And as Suzanne said earlier about a million climate jobs, so many people think that it means so much sacrifice, that it means changing our quality of life. Well, we've lived on the cream of life in terms of global, in global terms for so long, but in actual real terms, changing our life and our lifestyle in terms of fitting in with zero carbon Britain doesn't mean that our quality of life has to be poor. It really doesn't mean that. Anyway, so I would really like you to join with me in demanding zero carbon Britain by 2030. When I say zero, oh, well, I'll just go for it, I guess. <laughs> what do we want? Zero!